Hi, this is Janae from the Itch to Stitch. In this video, I will offer tips for using our Lemon Meringue Bean Stitch font in free software from Embrilliance. I'm currently running Embrilliance in Express Mode, which is the free portion of the program. I have downloaded the zip for Lemon Meringue Bean. I have extracted the files from the zip, and now I am in Finder in the folder that contains the BX files. If you're on a Windows machine, you'll want to be in Windows File Explorer. I can either double click a single BX file to install that font, or I can select all of them by holding down my shift key, drag and drop them into Embrilliance, and then I just have to click OK as it installs the other six sizes of the font, and now I'm ready to use it. I will click the A button to create a lettering object, and I would like the multi-line text option for this. I'm going to type a phrase, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And I like using this phrase because it incorporates every single lowercase letter. From the font selection box, I'm going to use my newly installed lemon meringue bean stitch font. Let's choose the 0.75 inch size. I want you to take a step back and look at this and see how wonderfully and Brilliance has brought in all these letter design files. When we created the BX files, we carefully positioned each of the lowercase letters vertically, and also we set the default letter spacing to 0% so that the letter files come in touching each other, which is important for a script font. And so you'll see this really looks like it flows like handwriting. There are three lowercase letters I want to bring to your attention. The first is X. According to the original artwork that we purchased a commercial license to digitize, the letter X is actually not intended to touch um, in this font. So you would want to click on the X, select the green pennant below it so that you can shift the X and all the text behind it to get it positioned where you want. Uh, same situation for the letter Z. It's not intended to touch, so I'll click the green pennant below to shift that out just a little bit. And again, you can just do that uh, where it's visually pleasing. The other lowercase letter that will always need your attention is the lowercase r. Now again, you'll see that it brought it in with 0% spacing between the tail of that B and where it hits the letter R. But to flow like handwriting, we really need it to connect differently. So again, I'm going to click the green square inside that R and then select the pennant below so that I can shift the R and the rest of the word to the left. And now it's going to flow like handwriting. So as it finishes the tail of the B, it will automatically go right into that loop of the R. And let's do that again down here so that I can scoot the R to connect with the E. All right, so just like that, this script font is ready to stitch. And we were very careful when we created the stops and starts for this font so that as it stitches, it's not going to stop and tie off between letters. The only exceptions will be dotting the I's and J's. And then if you do have a letter X or letter Z, there would be a jump between those since they're not connected. But otherwise, like on this word brown, it's going to stitch starting at the B all the way to the end and doesn't tie off until the end. This is going to save you so much time at your machine and also make the back of your project nice because it's not going to have those knots. Now, uh, one quick tip about the letter R. Again, it's designed to connect to the previous letter and every letter combination, those tails are going to line up. The problem comes in a word like, say, my last name. Let's type Trammel and see what we get. In this case, R is the leading lowercase letter. It doesn't have a tail to connect to, and so it just kind of looks funny. Here's a tip. Let's type T hyphen Rammel, and then what I can do is select the green square inside that, hover over the blue dot that's in the upper right hand corner, which will allow me to rotate just that symbol, and I can rotate this hyphen and scoot it into place to give that R a little bit more body. Now it's more readable as the word trammel. That automatic letter kerning with 0% spacing is perfect for lowercase letters of a script, but it does pose a couple problems. So let me show you real quick how we can solve that. Um, I've got 11 girl names here, and let's go down to lemon meringue B. 
bean, 0.75 inch size. Okay, again, boom, there are all those letters perfectly aligned, but the capital letters are touching and they really shouldn't. So whenever you create a name, you most likely are going to have to shift the capital letter out. Just give it a little bit of breathing room. There might be a couple exceptions, like on Kaylee, actually I would shift the rest of the name into the left and kind of nestle it into that K. Let's shift the O. But you can just see how quick it is to just move that first letter. Let's see, on Lily, I think I'll nestle it into the L. And then let's go back real quick and catch our R's. And deselect it and just take a, take a look and make sure is everything aligning the way I want. Maybe right here on this double T, I'll shift that T over just a hair. But again, that script font comes together quite remarkably well thanks to the fantastic letter kerning that Embrilliance offers. All right, so we have to be cautious of capital letters and you'll also wanna be cautious of numbers and punctuation. Let's say we wanted to type a date like uh, 10, 23, 97 and click set. That automatic letter kerning with 0% spacing means all these design files are touching each other and that's not what the date should look like. You can try the strategy of using the space slider here to spread them apart, but you still may not get them spread apart enough. So the tip I'd like to offer is to use spaces. Put a space between each character, click set, and now you're gonna have a whole lot of flexibility because you can use the word space slider. Even though we didn't type words, adding those spaces in essence makes each character its own word and the word space slider will allow you to get that positioned where you want, All right? Let's say you wanted to combine text and numbers together, like say in a scripture reference. If I type John 3.16, the lowercase letters are positioned well, but those numbers are on top of each other. You may find it easiest to just use two lettering objects. So let's just type John in one lettering object and then create a second lettering object for 316, but use spaces, three space, colon, space, one space, six. Use that word spacing line to get them positioned where you want. Then, once you have your two lettering objects aligned the way you would like, you can select these two lettering objects, go up to Edit, Group, and now they're kind of locked together in position so that if I grab John, the 316 moves with it and they're not going to get um, misaligned if you are combining it with something else. I hope those tips help. Just remember to pay attention to your capital letters, your lowercase r, and your numbers and punctuation. This should be almost uh, foolproof for using an Embrilliance. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos for more helpful tips.